2004 promises to be an exciting year in the field of science and technology. So what can we expect? Outlook 2004, well right away it's going to be all about Mars, Mars, Mars. Uh, says Mars Exploration Rovers will be landing this month in January, first one on January 4th, second one on January 24th or 25th, and they'll be down there scurrying around, looking at rocks, scouting out huge amounts of surface terrain, looking for presence or indicators that water once existed in liquid form in abundance on the surface of Mars. The outlook of 2004, I think there's this flat out eager expectation that uh, President Bush is going to make some sort of dramatic announcement about going back to the moon, uh, about a serious effort of an international expedition to Mars. I certainly hope that that is the case. We do have um, a mission which we're particularly excited about to be going up. This mission is called uh, Gravity Probe B, as you can see here. It's testing Einstein's universe. It literally is testing Einstein's most fundamental theories about the nature of the universe, the universe on large scales. What we're doing with this mission, as you can see, it's a satellite. Um, it will be orbiting the Earth. What gravity does, according to Einstein, it can twist and warp the fabric of space-time. It sounds a really Star Trek concept because you have these wormholes, you can fold space back on itself and create maybe a tear in space through which you could travel back into the past or to parallel universes or things like that. And what we're doing with Gravity Probe B is seeing how space-time actually warps by putting this satellite in orbit around Earth and measuring um, the actual twisting that the Earth, as a sphere on this gravity surface, effects and how it pulls space-time around it so that clocks actually run faster away from Earth and slower into Earth as of that twisting of space-time. So this mission could be a really huge, huge triumph for physics.